Wowee. Hey, uh, I hope everybody's doing all right. It is uh, Thursday morning, early Thursday morning, February 2nd. And uh, I decided that I wanted to do a video uh, on uh, my Paul Kelly collection because it has grown. The vinyl collection has grown. Uh, so, um, so here I am <laughs> and, uh, wearing like this, uh, this cool guitar shirt. Yeah, I know. I look like, um, like a 15 year old with a bad haircut or something, right? But, uh, I don't know. I like this shirt, so I don't care. So in fact, that would be a good, that'd probably be an improvement if, uh, I look like a 15 year old with a bad haircut. So, um, anyway, um, this is Paul Kelly, that uh, Aussie uh, pop singer. Uh, let's just get down to business. The sooner I start, the quicker this uh, video will be over. And maybe you'll, half of you won't end up in a coma. So, uh, of course, I'm gonna, uh, repeat uh, what I showed you earlier and that is Paul Kelly and the Dots it's beautiful uh, these are all of these are Australian imports on mushroom <laughs> on mushrooms mushroom records and um, well just about all of them there's one or two that don't have this awesome label I love that label but this is um, the first album that uh, Paul Kelly was on with the dots since he's been with so many different groups the dots it was Paul Kelly and the dots then it's Paul Kelly and the colored girls then it's Paul Kelly and the messengers and then I think he was in some other <laughs> another band but uh, in his uh, in in the beginning of his uh, career, he was on Mushroom Records, and uh, I think those are the three three bands that he was uh, he was in on Mushroom Records. That is uh, Paul Kelly and the Dots. All right, this is the very first album. I think it was released in 1980, if I remember correctly. This is the uh, the lyric inner sheet, inner inner uh, insert in beautiful condition. I really do try not to handle this thing too much, <clears throat> which means that I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> But man, this thing's in really good shape. Here's your track listing. I know I showed all this before, so I'm gonna try to zip through it rather quickly if I can. <clears throat> Kelly and the Dots. And then um, here's their uh, sophomore effort. Paul Kelly and the Dots. This is Manila. This came out in 81 or 80. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was 81 and then this is 82. I think that's correct. Yeah, because I'm seeing that this is 1982. This actually is a uh, a uh, promotional issue. It's got that little promotional sticker, and I'll, I've, it's really weird because a lot of Paul Kelly's output is on promotional records, or, or, or they, they are uh, promotional. But the only way that you know it's a promotional release is the sticker. So I guess they take 
stock copies, put those stickers on, and then send them to a radio station or whatever. Of course, here is the promotional record inside the promotional jacket. And... Um, And both these albums are in a really, I would say, near mint condition. That's what I would say. <laughs> Here is uh, this is what the record would have come in when you bought it at the store. But um, of course, I used that lined, uh, the poly lined. Uh, sleeve to store the record in so it doesn't get beat up but what um beautiful um beautiful condition this record is in go all right and then um those are the only two uh albums that paul kelly and the dots released they ended up releasing another album it might have been just paul kelly but maybe it was paul kelly and the colored girls uh and then uh he released this album gossip and um this i've had gatefold sleeve the, the first gatefold sleeve that he uh, that he was uh, <clears throat> well I should say the first gatefold sleeve in his output so I don't know who's responsible for deciding if they're going to put it in a gatefold sleeve but it is sweet and it's a double record set of course and it's just packed with music it's it's just loaded it's one thing i noticed about um paul kelly's uh albums is that he really packs a lot of music on these records somehow so um I mean, I guess he's just prolific. It makes sense because he puts out a lot of singles and there's a lot of non-album B-sides. So there you go. But this is a great album. I love this album. And I did learn something about it today. I learned that it was a first edition. First pressing. And what uh, helps you identify it as a first pressing is uh, the uh, price that bit right underneath the mushroom uh, logo that says, uh, what does it say? RRP $15.99, suggested retail price. And because uh, there was a secondary pressing, then that, um, that little bit of text is not there. It's omitted from second pressing. I'm not going to pull this out. If you're a humongous Paul Kelly fan, take a look at my earlier uh, vinyl uh, collection video and you will see the inserts if that's what you want to see. But now we're going to get to uh, the reason why I decided to make the video. And that is that the next three albums, I ended up getting three more albums. Paul Kelly and the Messengers. Probably a good idea to change the name uh, from Colored Girls to Messengers. It just, you know, especially in this day and age, somebody's going to take it the wrong way no matter what you mean. <laughs> it's really weird. What a weird world we live in. 
But anyway, Paul Kelly and the Messengers, I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it, for God's sake. But this is uh, the first Paul Kelly and the Messengers album. It is from 1980. I think it's 1987. Oops. Where is that flashlight? Yes. Yes. And beautiful. Let's pick these up. Uh, these other, these next three records. I picked them up over the last couple of months. And um, like I said, packed. This is packed. Under the sun. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't Paul Kelly and the Messengers. This is Paul Kelly and the Colored Girls still. It's just like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but beautiful. All right, here. You know what the album looks like. But here is the... <clears throat> Here's the lyric insert. And wow, it looks so strange in the camera. It, it's like the camera does weird things. But anyway, this, uh, this is the lyric insert. So you get all the lyrics. These packages are beautiful, I think. I think. Because you get the lyric insert and, uh, and you get that beautiful color uh, album with that beautiful label that mushroom label and um, here you know what let me pull it out I don't think that the next three I don't think any of these are promotional these are all stock copies yeah seven tracks and then the B and then uh, the B side is six tracks so you get 13 freaking tunes <laughs> so and absolutely beautiful it's just beautiful in beautiful shape very very quiet i picked this up off of uh, a seller on ebay I haven't even played this whole album yet. I played about, excuse me, three or four tracks. Excuse me, wow. And uh, just to check it out, flipped it over, maybe played a little bit from the beginning. That's how I like to just double check that they're in great condition, or at least get an idea of what condition they're in. Just put it, putting on the very first uh, track and seeing what kind of noise I hear and these have been incredibly quiet so far all, all six of them have been really quiet this is the next one here's the first Paul Kelly and the Messengers album uh, so much water so close to home Beautiful, beautiful cover, beautiful um, condition. And uh, here's the lyric insert. Now, the lyric insert's kind of, like when I, when I pulled this out, man, I was a little bit surprised, a little disappointed, a little shocked, um, because there are food stains <laughs> or some kind of stains on this thing you can see some here on this side but on this side and I, that, I love that art i think that's really cool but on this side take a little closer look i thought maybe it was part of the the design of the package but no way it is not it is stains from i don't know if somebody was eating a pizza or what the hell happened here but it's a mess Okay, so, and I did try to remove some of the stains, but it's just impossible. There's just, there's nothing you can do. So I'm stuck with this. And uh, what I've convinced myself is that maybe it's a, a unique uh, artistic uh, 
process that they used to. <laughs> Paul Kelly and the Dots. <laughs> Jeez. So I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, uh, yeah, stains are kind of gross. Nothing you can do about it. They're there and they're not going to go away. There's no way to hide them. And uh, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> because other than those stains, everything about everything else about this package is in um, is in great condition. Oh, and if it weren't for the stains, the whole package would be near mint easily. You know, I sometimes I make a joke. You know, it's so clean you could eat off of it. I never did expect that anybody actually would, but that's what it looks like. So you can see that the record itself is in really great condition. And it is. I have played um, not the entire album, but I did sample it and it's in great shape. So <clears throat> let's put it back. <clears throat> Paul Kelly and the Messengers. What a cool artist. I really dig this guy's stuff. I, I, there's just so much good music out there. But this guy has such an incredible catalog of material. And... Um, and the records were so cool looking, I couldn't resist. So, all right, Paul Kelly and the Messengers. And then here's the, the latest and the greatest. This just came recently. And this is uh, the album Comedy. This one is a uh, special festival export. I don't know what that means. Well, I guess it means it was pressed by Festival Records, but it's on the Mushroom label. Comedy, it's a two-record set. Um, look at this track listing. Tons of music. All right. It's not a gatefold. does come with um, lyric inserts. Side one. All right, here's a write-up with some credits. I haven't read that yet, actually. Side three. Side four. The records are the illustrious and beautiful Mushroom label, of course. And as a matter of fact, this is probably, I probably won't collect any more um, Paul Kelly albums. I might try to pick up some more singles that I am missing. But, yeah, here I'm going to have a problem already. I can see it. So let me put these away first. I'm just, am excuse me, I'm just amazed at the fact that there's just no ring wear. Very, very, I can see it at the top, very, very minor. But it's just, it's hardly detectable. Just really not there. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Beautiful package. And uh, I did play actually most of uh, record one. Uh, no lined inner sleeve, so I was installing them while I was listening to the first album. And man, beautiful. Crisp, 
crystal clear, no noise. Absolutely incredible condition. Yep. Festival Records import. Special Festival export. Export, I mean, not import. So, all right, so there you go. So those are those last three albums are the new part of my collection. And I'll just show you the, uh, the singles that I have. This will probably be the definitive collection. Uh, Paul Kelly vinyl uh, collection video. Uh, this is uh, a um, lone single from 1980, Seeing is Believing and Angel in Me, two non-album tracks. On the the beautiful mushroom label. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I really like this collection. I really, uh, I really dig it. This is another cop. Oh, no, this is Billy Baxter and Hard Knocks. Billy Baxter and Hard Knocks are uh, on the first Dots album. Both these tracks are on there. Here's Body and Soul, which contains a B-side uh, track called Rocking Institution that is performed by Paul Kelly and the Dots. Uh, Rocking Institution is uh, unique to this single. The A-side, Body and Soul, is uh, Joe Kennedy. And this is, this was um, from a soundtrack from the comedy musical Starstruck. So, all right. I had a copy of this without the picture sleeve and then I managed to find a, a picture sleeve with the album, so I have that copy, and this one without the picture sleeve, it's in that factory bum sleeve. Here's Paul Kelly and the Colored Girls, Before Too Long, Before Too Long and uh, White Train, it's on the back, White Train is a B-side. This is one of the few singles I have. I think, I think this is the only one that does not have the beautiful mushroom label. It's White Label Records. But it is Mushroom Records out of, out of Australia. I don't understand why this doesn't have a mushroom label, but it doesn't matter because all the other ones do <laughs> so you know what are you gonna do beautiful great condition beautiful picture sleeve all right here is um The single, Darling, It Hurts. And uh, it's rather unusual for them to put out a single without a picture sleeve. This is from 1987 or 86, is it? Yeah, 1986. Uh, Darling, It Hurts is from uh, Gossip. And it... Amazing how prolific this guy is because there is a non-album B-side called Preaching to the, to the Converted and Preaching to the Converted is a great tune. 
This is one of the first things I picked up on vinyl by Paul Kelly, and I really, in fact, I picked it up because I found out that about the B-side, the non-album B-side, and I picked it up, and when I put on the record, I was amazed that it's not on the album. It's such a great tune, Preaching to the Converted. All right, so this in a mushroom uh, factory sleeve. That's actually the second copy that I picked up. This is an, this is an earlier copy that I had. So I have two copies of that single. Go figure. Like, a, like I must be like a record collector. Here's Paul Kelly and the Colored Girls, 40 Miles to Saturday Night. Forty miles to Saturday night. I'm not going to show you the records anymore because they're all um, mushroom. The beautiful mushroom label. All right, a, a promotional copy, as you can see from the sticker. Here, let me take a quick sip. Next, Paul Kelly and the Colored Girls don't stand so close to the window. <clears throat> don't stand so close to the window. Uh, special Festival Export. All right. This one has a little bit of a, like a mark scrape in the, in the finish, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Here's Paul Kelly and the Color Girls Dumb Things. <clears throat> Dumb Things. It's from Under the Sun. Dumb Things and... Uh, B side is Deportes. Right. Right. Oops, a little bit of glare, but you can see the gang. <laughs> and, um, things I think that's from a soundtrack and here is um, a special package where you get uh, two singles and a gatefold sleeve dumb things and deportes yeah from the forthcoming mushroom soundtrack album young Einstein I wonder, I, you know what I need to do is find, find out if there's any um, any other um, Paul Kelly material on that uh, soundtrack album that I don't have. So record one has got the same tracks as that one I just showed you. Record two has uh, a song called Rock and Soul on the A side and Reckless on the B side. Um, it's a bonus single, not for sale. It was uh, pressed specially for this package. So, there you go. All right. And, uh, there you go. Very different. Front cover uh, artwork there. Okay, now we get to uh, Paul Kelly and the Messengers. Sweet guy, and the B side is Ghost Town. This is a 
was a uh, promotional copy. They all, almost all of these say limited edition on the picture sleeve on the back or the front. And I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Here's, um, here, this one says it too, limited edition. This is a four track EP. If you look at the sticker, it says it includes free poster. And it does. And uh, Most Wanted Man in the World. I Had Forgotten You. Beggar on the Street of Love Live. And I Won't Be Your Dog Anymore. Arf. <laughs> this has a, uh, a poster that maybe the guy who owned this before me didn't know there was a poster in it. Because it's like it was never touched. It certainly wasn't hung up anywhere. There's no tack holes or anything, but there you go. There he is. Nothing on the B side here or nothing on the back. Just the front. There you go, poster. Records. He's pouring petrol on a burning man in other people's houses. Nice pictures. Nice artwork. Really beautiful. It's too bad it wasn't a gatefold because you can see that the, the picture actually continues. It wraps around the, this other side here. If it was a gatefold, it'd be nice to be able to open it up. But no such thing. At least not here. And I think this is the last... <laughs> I know how to waste time. Paul Kelly and the Messengers. Don't start me talking. And from St. Kilda to King's Cross, I think the B side is. Maybe it's a live version. I think it's. Yeah, it's a studio version. Uh, I, but I think it's available elsewhere. It, it, I think. Anyway. And this is a promotional, it's got the promotional sticker on it, so there you go. And that's it, man. That is my Paul Kelly vinyl collection as it stands and probably will remain this size. I might pick up a few more singles, I don't know, if I can get a decent deal on them. Uh, that album comedy was but a decent price so anyway that's it man under 35 minutes and i am going to say good night and see you another time bye